hello dear engineering students i welcome you all into my channel again hope you are all doing well so in this video i will be solving this particular question which is repeatedly asked in uh, examination that is prove that geodesic of the plan surface or straight line or sometimes they will ask like this prove that the shortest path between two points in a plan is a straight line so first of all let me give you some idea what does this geodesic mean suppose I am here I am having the two points okay you have to find out the shortest distance you can travel up to this point in many ways suppose you are going through this way this way you are approaching to this point going from this point to this point like this one this is also a way to reach this point and this is also the way to go and reach this particular point so this is the shortest dis distance right hope you are getting my point so this shortest distance is nothing but geodesics so we have to prove that this is a straight line so how we can approach to this we have to remember three equations there are three approaches uh, one we have to take the arc length formula and next one we have to take extremum function and next one we have to take Euler's Langerhans equation okay these three equations are a best approach to prove that geodesic of a plan surface are straight line let me uh, solve this particular question over here now so solution we can write down we know that the arc length so you have to remember this arc length approach or the arc length of a geodesic of a geodesic is given by ds upon dx is equal to under root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square so this is the equation which you have to remember okay ds by dx is equal to under root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square you can also write this equation as ds by dx which is equal to under root of 1 plus instead of dy by dx you can write down y dash whole square okay so dy by dx is nothing but y dash and next equation which you have to remember is extremum so therefore the extremum extremum of a geodesic geodesic can be defined can be defined as i is equal to it is the standard equation of extremum that is x1 to x2 f of x comma y comma y dash dx which is equal to in the given problem it is given so x1 x2 ds by dx we have to take our length here okay now you can compare easily what is this dx by sorry ds by dx value it is here arc length so i can write down integral of x1 to x2 ds by dx instead of this i can write this much under root of 1 plus y dash whole square so under root of 1 plus y dash square dx okay now we can compare here we have integral x1 to x2 here also we have x1 to x2 here we have function of x y y dash here we have ds by dx or this term right so you can compare this term is equal to this term that is f of x comma y comma y dash dx is equal to this under root of 1 plus y dash square dx hope you are getting my point right now third approach as i earlier said there are three equations by which we can prove that, that the shortest path between the two points in a plan is a straight line okay that is euler's langrage equation so from euler lagrange equation we have we have do f by do y minus d by dx of do f by do y dash or del f by del y dash whatever you call it it is according to your own convenience right so this is the euler langrage equation which we have to solve further over here let me do it in the next page okay now first of all we will calculate this do f by do y dash so do f divided by do y is equal to sorry this is do f by do y we have to calculate so what is the given function given function is this under root of 1 plus y dash square right so we have to differentiate this this term so with respect to y we are differentiating are you observing here any y term there is no y term so with respect to y the differentiation of whole term will be zero so do f by do y is equal to zero right then we have to calculate this do f by do y dash this is the partial differentiation do f by do y dash we have to calculate now which is equal to we have to again uh, differentiate this term with respect to y dash so i can write down this term as 1 plus y dash square 
raised power 1 by 2 instead of root i am writing 1 by 2 so that you can differentiate it easily now tell me do f divided by do y dash is equal differentiation of this term you consider this whole term as x so it is x raised power 1 by 2 differentiation of x raised power 1 by 2 is nothing but power down x raised power 1 by 2 minus 1 so instead of x we have this whole term so do f by do y dash is equal to 1 by 2 i can write down instead of x we have 1 plus y dash square raised power 1 by 2 minus 1 is nothing but minus 1 by 2 i hope you are getting my point now sorry do f by do y dash is equal to you can write down now 1 by 2 uh, this 1 plus y dash whole square raised power minus 1 by 2 once you will just put it in the denominator you will get under root of 1 plus y dash whole square so this was the differentiation of this x whole term that is 1 plus y dash whole square is power 1 by 2 power down that is 1 by 2 1 plus y dash whole square is power minus 1 by 2 and internal differentiation of this term now x inside is 1 plus y dash whole square so differentiation of 1 is 0 and differentiation of y dash square is nothing but 2y dash okay this is the differentiation of this much now dou f divided by dou y dash is equal to you will get here 2 and 2 will get cancelled out y dash divided by under root of 1 plus y dash square so this is our term dou f by dou y dash we have calculated now dou f by dou y and dou f by dou y dash now put these two values in this euler langrage equation so i will write down it again dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equal to zero now put down the values do, uh, do f by dou y is equal to 0 so 0 minus here we have calculated it 0 minus d by dx of do f by dou y dash is nothing but this term so y dash of under root of 1 plus y dash square is equal to 0 now take this term to the right hand side it will become positive so 0 is equal to d by dx of y dash divided by under root of 1 plus y dash square now let me differentiate this term so see here now it is not partial differentiation it is the full differentiation d by dx of this term so i can write down here the differentiation of uh, this is uv rule u by v rule so you have understood this u by v rule in previous classes itself once we are differentiating u by v v we have to take as it is so v means here we have under root of 1 plus y dash square as it is differentiation of u y dash differentiation is nothing but y double dash so minus now u as it is y dash as it is differentiation of this term differentiate differentiation of v under root of 1 plus y dash square is the v over here okay if you have to differentiate this term in easy terms first of all so on the right side of the answer booklet you just write down this term as 1 plus y dash whole square raised power 1 by 2 instead of root you write down 1 by 2 so what is the differentiation of this power down this term 1 plus y dash whole square and internal differentiation of this one is zero and y dash square differentiation is two y dash two y dash and internal differentiation of y dash is y double dash right so this is now we are doing full differentiation in the previous step it was partial differentiation that is why that time differentiation was two y dash only but here we are uh, differentiating fully so uh, differentiation of one is zero and differentiation of y dash square is 2y dash y double dash hope you are following now i can write down here y dash multiplied by differentiation of this v that is here 1 by 2 1 plus y y dash square into 2y dash y double dash okay now this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out and divided by we have first of all v as it is differentiation of this u y double dash minus u as it is differentiation of this v we have differentiated okay divided by this v square under root of 1 plus y dash square whole square okay now this uh, square and root will get cancelled out what we are left with so 0 is equal to this is under root of 1 plus y dash square into y double dash minus y dash into this much 1 plus y dash square sorry i have written wrong over here the differentiation of this is 1 plus y dash whole square differentiation is 1 by 2 power down 1 by 2 1 plus y dash whole square 1 by 2 minus 1 so i, I have missed this term that is 1 by 
minus 1 by 2 okay so into 2y dash y double dash this is the differentiation of the above term that is this one 1 plus y dash whole square okay now i can write down here y dash of 1 plus y raised power 1 plus y dash square multiplied by sorry this is minus 1 by 2 now here i have written minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 sorry 2 is cancelled with this 2 so i can write down here y dash y double dash divided by this 1 plus y dash square 1 plus y dash square now let me proceed it so see here now 1 plus y dash square if you just multiplied with 0 it will become 0 is equal to under root of 1 plus y dash square into y double dash minus this is y dash you can write down this term 1 plus y dash whole square is power minus 1 by 2 once you take it to the denominator uh, you will get under root of 1 plus y dash square okay again instead of root if you just take 1 by 2 to the numerator it will become again minus 1 by 2 right so multiplied by y dash y y dash y double dash okay this is the equation so 0 is equal to this multiplied by this root into root will get cancelled you will get 1 plus y dash square multiplied by y double dash uh, this is where in bracket and minus y dash into y dash is y dash square y double dash divided by this term under root of 1 plus y dash whole square okay this multiplied by 0 is again 0 and 1 into y double dash is y double dash plus y dash square into y double dash y dash square into y double dash minus y dash square y double dash this is positive y dash square y double dash this is negative y dash square y double dash so this will get cancelled you will get y double dash is equal to zero you can also write this uh, y double dash in terms of d square y is equal to zero if you have remembered from the previous semester itself in the second semester uh, when you were solving the uh, complementary function and particular integral so that from that particular chapter you will be knowing d square y why we are writing this instead of y double dash so it is actually d square y is equal to zero okay now we can write down auxiliary equation we have to compare this d square equation is equal to zero means uh, the function which is in terms of d it is actually f of d we have to compare with zero so f of d is here t square is equal to zero you can also write down this d square as m square is equal to zero right so auxiliary equation m square is equal to zero so once you just take this square to the right hand side you will get two roots so zero comma zero will be the roots for this particular uh, equation so this is the condition if you are getting a real and equal roots so zero is a real number and here we have again zero so these are real and equal roots when there is real and equal roots equal roots we have the function y is equal to c1 plus c2x e power mx this is the equation once we are getting real and equal roots now y is equal to c1 plus c2x e power what is the m value m value is 0 so 0 into x y is equal to c1 plus c2x e power 0 so anything raised power 0 is 1 okay so multiplied by 1 now you can write down y is equal to c1 plus c2x this is your final equation you know already what is the straight line equation that is y is equal to mx plus c so m is called the slope this is the straight line equation so we are getting same here y is equal to mx plus c this is again a straight line equation we were supposed to show that the shortest path between the two points in a plan is straight line so this is the straight line equation we are getting so this is all about proof of geodesic equation i hope you have understood this very well so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you